My name is Chris Trasillo. Uh, I have the honor of being the Chief of Police for New Jersey Transit. And on behalf of the Police Department, I wanted to honor uh, Shonda Stokes. Uh, we as a department wanted to honor one of our employees. But I today want to welcome everyone who's here, in particular Mr. Stokes and Shonda's mom and Reverend Ali. Uh, to the New Jersey Transit Counterterrorism Training Center. And now it's my distinct honor and pleasure to introduce our president and CEO, Mr. Kevin Corbett. Th thank you, Chief, and uh, really appreciate everyone uh, coming out. Certainly, uh, um, you know, uh, aside from the chief, Mike Kilcoin, who is the uh, vice president, uh, senior vice president for surface transportation and bus operations uh, here today, uh, Deputy Chief Ed Iandoli, uh, right there, um, and you know, these are all people that are so critical to this uh, this project and uh, uh, for really uh, helping uh, get uh, our K9 uh, unit up and running, uh, Sergeant uh, Keith DeLuca and uh, Police Officer Michael C uh, Czesny, uh who will be uh, partnered with our guest of honor uh, today, uh, you know, K-9 K Stokes, uh, and Master Trainer Police Officer Edward, uh, Edward Jew. So I um, just want to uh, let you know that uh, we have the whole team here for you in, uh, uh, in honor. And, um, you know, it's, uh, we're celebrating the, the name, uh, you know, for, for uh, when we looked at you know what uh, a, a suitable way we could really honor uh, uh, Shonda, and we thought you know something that would keep that that memory going, uh, and um, you know obviously uh, you know uh, succumbing as Barbara and I were talking you know, earlier, it's like you never know when the hour comes, and, and certainly as a parent, you always worry about that with your own child. So uh, you know it, it's a, a, obviously a very sad thing, but. Uh, you know, we sort of celebrate Shonda's life. If anybody was a force of, na of nature, she did more in her life to light up the world than, uh, you know, so many other people. And uh, very infectious, my, but you know, she was, uh, you know, right up the mile. Everyone knew Shonda. So, and I think Barbara was saying, you went into a grocery store, everyone knew Shonda. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> so uh, you know, uh, we thought it was appropriate. You know, it's amazing how time flies. It was 23 years ago when she uh, started to work here in 1998. Uh, starting as a, as a bus operator at the, at the Orange Garage and uh, through her hard work and dedication worked her way up to become a, a depot master at the Wayne Garage. So, uh, you know, we, she was an extremely hard worker, you know, smart as a whip, uh, but uh, despite that focus, always uh, exuded a warm, friendly, you know, loving presence to everyone who worked with her. Certainly a woman of uh, great faith, uh, as I was saying to her mom uh, when we were driving over, I was coming to the I, Beautiful day coming out and thinking that with the, uh, you know, for this event, I was like, I bet she's up there looking down, uh, you know, and have a big smile on her face. Uh, if anybody would appreciate, you know, this and, and having, uh, you know, uh, the, the K9 unit uh, dog named after it would be uh, Shonda. Um, and I would say that uh, as far as, as, far as uh, like Shonda, I would say Stokes. Uh, there's a reason that the, for the police pick a name for a dog, you know, so that can respond well to, to commands and, uh, you know, fit in their certain criteria. So, uh, you know, when uh, the, the chief and the team said, uh, you know, let's honor uh, uh, Shonda and uh, said, okay, you know, the dog's name being Stokes uh, is also uh, is a very hard, uh, hard working, dedicated employee. Uh, you know, people don't realize, you know, for counterterrorism, you know, the dogs and the training that goes into it, you know, they're big investments, very special dogs. So uh, when he graduates, uh, he'll be out in the field uh, protecting all of us and uh, the you know, uh, counterterrorism tactics and uh, explosion detection, et cetera. So uh, we thought that naming the dog after Shonda was a, a fitting tribute. Uh, it, and I think, you know, uh, people and dogs have a special bond. And uh, you know, I think the, uh, like many of us in transit, whether you be a bus operator, uh, there's certain risks that you, you take being in transit, uh, you know, on the rail side, on the bus side. Um, and, uh, you know, I'd say, but certainly on the police side, uh, you really see that uh, with, with a whole range of public uh, that we deal with, uh, getting them safely. Uh, our police officers and their canine partners uh, also know that, uh, know that bond and know the risks uh, that come with serving the public. Uh, and we, I think we all enjoy, you know, for those who have been in, tra uh, in transit, uh, like Shonda, 
you know, you enjoy the, the bonds that you make with, you, with your colleagues. It's a special kind of world in transit. A lot of people on the outside don't appreciate it. Uh, Sandra certainly did. And so I think uh, those kind of special relationships, we thought this was a really appropriate way of uh, honoring a, you know, a spe special bond and to keep her name uh, with us uh, going forward in a way that uh, still continues to serve the public and remind people of all that uh, Shonda meant to us. So uh, I, I felt that uh, na naming a Stokes after a beloved uh, colleague uh, you know, who has left us remind us of those bonds and that makes working at New Jersey Transit you know, such a special place and that Shonda did so much to help make it uh, such a special place. So uh, really appreciate everyone coming here and uh, with that I'll turn it back to uh, to the chief. Thanks very much. So if you don't mind, I'd like to tell you just a little bit about the New Jersey Transit Police Department so you understand how important uh, Stokes to my right is to our mission. Um, you know, in September, it's hard to believe the way time moves, right? On one hand, you see how long we've been in this pandemic, over a year now, think about that, and how it's changed and impacted all of us in many ways, and why we're here today to honor Shonda. Uh, but we're also coming close to the 20th anniversary of 9-11. And as a transit agency that serves our entire state, that pre-pandemic served over close to a million people a day on rail, on bus, on light rail. Um, and we're in the shadow of New York City and the World Trade Center. So the threat of terrorism is very real for New Jersey Transit, for the state of New Jersey, and for our police department. So our canine unit is really a critical component. These dogs are trained and work hard to keep our ridership and the citizens of the state safe. We have uh, now with Stokes and uh, another uh, new member of the unit, Kenny, uh, 15 K9. And what I'd like to do is kind of tell you the story of how uh, Stokes was named. Uh, I was in a meeting with my deputy chief Deputy Chief Ed Iandoli and Deputy Chief Laura Hester, who unfortunately couldn't be here today. And we talk about a lot of different things and we were getting two new canines. So I said to the chiefs, I said, what can we do that has meaning in terms of naming our two new canines? Because so much has been going on right in the country and in the world, it seems, over the course of the past year. And it was Deputy Chief Iandoli who, without hesitation, said, Chief, how about we pick names of the employees we've lost? And in that moment, it was, the decision was made. You know, we've lost the 21 employees here at New Jersey Transit, employees that from the start of the pandemic, when there was no light at the end of the tunnel like there is now, they came to work every day. And it was an unknown, right? We know a lot more today than we knew a year ago. But Shonda and uh, her fellow employees, uh, bus operators, train crews, police officers, every day coming to work in an unknown and dangerous envi environment. So we thought that was a great idea. And then it came down to uh, we have 21 worthy uh, employees, but we only have two uh, K-9. So we looked at the names and we tried to learn about each of the employees. And I'm looking at the picture on my right and the picture on my left. And when I saw these pictures, that kind of hit me. It hit me. Uh, these pictures tell a story. They tell a story of uh, a woman of faith I've come to learn. They tell a story of a woman of service. They tell a story of a woman who cared about others. Um, and they tell a story to me when I see the photos of a person who had an aura 
around her. And she cared about others, I'm assuming, I'm guessing, probably a lot more than herself. So we're honored uh, today, and if you allow me, I'd like to introduce uh, members of my team who work so hard. Uh, I'm gonna introduce Sergeant Keith DeLuca. Keith, could you stand just for a moment? Sergeant DeLuca is new to the unit. He's not new to the rank of sergeant, but he's taken on a big task. When he became the uh, uh, the commander of the K-9 unit, he also took on the responsibility of having to be trained with a new dog. So he is going through the same training as uh, K-9 Stokes with his partner, K-9 Kenny. But Stokes is the star to show today, so uh, K-9 Kenny is, uh, is not here right now. Thanks, Sarge. And now I'd like, I'm really honored and proud to introduce police officer Ed Joes. Ed, do you mind? Uh, Ed has been with us since May of 2001. Think about when he came on this uh, police department. In just a few months, the world was going to change uh, with 9-11. And Ed had a passion and he wanted to do more in a counterterrorism mission. And in 2014, he became a canine officer, but it didn't end there. Officer Joes is what's considered in the canine world a master trainer. He's trained 178 canines. It's his responsibility to train canine Stokes. And I want you all to know that canine Stokes is getting the best possible training. Because in this business, you can't be wrong. Like a 400 batting average is not good enough. You gotta be batting a thousand in this business. And thanks to uh, Officer Joes, and I'm knocking on wood, and we're all knocking on wood up here, we wanna continue to have that great batting average. Thanks, uh, thanks. Uh, You know, and if you don't mind me mentioning, you know, we're in a time, uh, in addition to the pandemic, there's uh, a question about public trust as it relates to the police. And we've got a tough job as the wall police with earning back your trust. I think we're up to that task. Uh, since I've been here, I'm really proud of the men and women of the New Jersey Transit Police Department. We have no shortage of dedicated, talented people who come to work every day wanting to make a difference, wanting to do good, wanting to help people. I often say, you know, uh, I came on a long time ago and I know what motivated me and I ask our young officers who come on new, well, why do you wanna be a police officer? And I'm always amazed that I hear the same things that I heard from myself when I came on. I'm not gonna tell you how long ago, but a long time ago. So we had no shortage of officers. We, when we have an opening in our K-9 unit, we put out a request. And many wanna be in this unit because it's such an elite unit but we always have to go through the process of selection and I'm proud to introduce police officer Michael Chesney. Michael. And he's new to uh, K-9 and he is being trained on the star of the show as the uh, CEO said. Uh, K-9 Stokes was born in the Republic of Czechoslovakia and uh, the boss was right. Uh, a very expensive dog, I'm not gonna tell, the financial person is not here, but we, we pick the best of the breed, if you will. And remember, K-9 Stokes, one of the other things about our K-9 unit, in addition to their diligence, is they are the best public relations. You know, I talked to you about wanting to earn public trust back. These are not patrol dogs, these are passive dogs. 
They're friendly dogs. You, you got a part in uh, Office uh, K-9 Stokes today because he's still in training. But when he completes training, he'll be able to be around a noisy bus terminal, a busy train station, hundreds of people moving all around him, and he'll be right at the officer's side. And he'll not move until that officer tells him. And many people and young children will want to come over. They're fascinated by the dog. So uh, there are great public relations, not only for the police department and for the agency, but also to try and earn that public trust that we so desperately need so we can function as a society. So uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to give a, a final round of applause for our K-9. <laughs> Stokes. And, and Stokes, we wish you a long and, and good, good career. And, and with that, uh, the agency has taken the liberty of preparing a proclamation. And if I could ask uh, Mr. Stokes, and Ms. Cheeks to come forward with the uh, president and CEO and the vice president of bus and myself, and uh, we'll take a picture. Yeah. You know how when you have old pictures, I was looking at old pictures last week, we were having a hard time. Who's that? Who's that? Can you imagine in 15 years we could look at pictures with masks on? <laughs> I'd now like to ask your friend and uh, Shonda's minister, uh, Reverend Brian Ali, to come up and say a few words and maybe lead us in a little benediction. Right. Well, let's give God a praise for Shonda right now. When I came in and I saw her picture, it took me back to a year ago. Last, this past Sunday, she came to me and said she had just got Sundays off and she would be able to come to church. And at that time, the state had shut us down. That was the last Sunday we were in session for the last year since the pandemic started. 
and Shonda was worried about coming to church. And now we look at her legacy lives on. Who would ever thought Scrappy gonna be jealous? <laughs> but, 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 but Shonda got a dog, an uh, international dog named after her. <laughs> so on behalf of the New Summers Worship Center, we want to New Jersey Transit Police to know that we will be praying for you. We give you an open invitation to our, our house of worship where Shonda was one of my ministers. And it, it just fits her, it just fits her. Even though she's gone in her flesh, she's still here with her spirit. And she would say, look at me now, they're naming dogs after me. And for that we say to God be the glory. Because now she would be not only, not only did she save lives on the spiritual side, now she's going to be saving lives on the minister's side and on the physical side, on the people's side, and nothing more important. So uh, we're going to call them, we, we'll call them Minister Stokes. You know, uh, one of our servants at the house, but to, to police dog um, Stokes. K-9 Stokes is the proper terminology. We salute you in this police force and to New Jersey Transit. We salute you and let's give God a praise again for blessing her. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you for this celebration and this ceremony. Now, God, we pray that your peace will be upon each and every one of us as we leave this place, but certainly not your presence. Now, may the grace of God, sweet communion of his Holy Spirit, rest rule in the battle of his people now, henceforth, and forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a smile upon you. I'm just going to ask our president and CEO, Kevin Corbett, to say a couple closing remarks. Well, thank you. I hope this was as meaningful uh, to, to, to you all as it is to us. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, I agree with the Reverend uh, that, uh, you know, having these masks on, even, even if it's a Steeler mask, that's okay. <laughs> but, uh, right, as a giant fan, that's okay, we, we, we're good. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's a really... <laughs> we, we, we can start going over the lineup for the fall outside after this, but hope it all uh, that it all really uh, strikes. You know, seeing the young ones, you know, uh, you know, time goes by. I, I remember when I was a little kid, my mother said I was always, you know, like that running around. But I hope this really uh, sticks with you as, as memories. And I'm sorry that we had the mask on for the photo, so maybe we'll have to do another one when it's, when it's all clear and we don't have to wear the mask. We'll have to come back and do another photo without the mask. But uh, I really hope that, uh, that this. Uh, Hey, I promise. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Barbara, we promise. So with that, uh, thanks all for coming. And, uh, you know, and I think the chief or anything else is, you know, uh, you get a, a photo with Stokes or, yeah. Or, yep. Yep. All right. Thank you all. Thank you.